I would say the quintessential, you want to collect OG Eclipse guns, what do you got to get? You got to get yourself an excessive ego. So this is the 0506 version, right? 05 version. So this was before the SL66. The SL66 was the one that everybody fell in love with. But this is kind of the lesser known one. And one of the things that's just dope about this is that the milling is different on both sides. So you see excessive three stars and the an E, and this one has a different excessive logo and a star. The shield. The shield. This one here is the SL66, the 2006 Ego Special Edition Team Excessive. What, what's this? Is this Ice Cube? This is not Ice Cuba. This is... Uh, no, no, that's... um. Was it be Rich, Mr. Money Sign? Oh, Telford. no way. Rich Telford sign your gun with like... Yeah, with a money sign. And then uh, you got the troll, Thomas Taylor, on this side. Is that just like a Sharpie signature? Uh, It's actually, I think it's a, a paint marker. Like an industrial paint marker. It's all we had at the event. I saw him and I had this gun in my bag because I had just bought it. And I brought it for a backup for the event. And I saw them both. I was like, yeah, you want to sign my gun? And they're like, hell yeah. So this one here is also an SL66. But it's for the seven-man team, the Bushwhackers. This gun is in a gloss red. And it's still it's still surprisingly light. The, uh, the famous anno of this was McDonald's Bushwhackers. Where it's kind of red, but it also had the yellow accents. But the all red is still super hot. The all red, and this is actually an open message to the person who has the all gold one. I know you're in Arizona. I have your twin. This was part swapped at one point because all the anodes were McDonald's, and this was part swapped. There's one all red one, one all gold one. So yeah, that's why it's all red. They're usually McDonald's colors. What what motivated you to collect? Like, what determines what gets into the collection? Well, it's pretty much what's cool and what I can get for a good price because I don't like to pay market for things unless I really want it. But the whole motivation of collecting is pretty much getting all the stuff that I couldn't afford when I was a kid, just falling in love with the sport. Uh, your newest gun, your most high-end gun, the Dynasty Scales CS1. Second newest, maybe? Second newest, maybe. Got the Shaft FR back, which takes freak inserts. There is a ball in the breech. <laughs> I think I traded a PM7 for that guy. So that gold anno, those came at the very end of the SFT lifespan. And one of the things that you can notice is that that's an NXT style barrel back. So you got like some NXT stuff, some SFT stuff. Yeah, 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 Predator board. It's nice and uh, you got the Tauntaun. Yeah, do not Big forget about the Tauntaun bolt guide. Let's, let's hear some hardcore ramping. Oh, 20 BPS to the dome. Yeah, she's nice and mean. All right, so this is one of my personal favorite oddball guns. This is the Shigo. You have an Ego frame, an Ego board, turns on, perfectly functions, but it's bolted on to a Shocker NXT body. Any other things with this gun that people might want to know, Greg? I think it actually operates with an Ego solenoid, but I didn't build it. Um, it's got the brake beam eyes milled for the Ego, uh, laser eyes. Um, yeah, I don't know, the guy who built it, Josh Sipes, he's a local guy here, uh, did a real good job with it. I'm just shooting it. Hey, Ruthless Bros. Yeah. My favorite here, this is called a Hybrid Quest New Matrix, am I right? Rival. Hybrid Rival. And the front block on this guy is just so tiny. I really love it. The milling is just smooth and flowing. And the frame is almost CCM. You're almost it's at that. After CCM. Almost CCM quality frame here. That's a, that's a beauty. Next, you have the die. Is this a die ultralight or a die reflex? Uh, that's a reflex with the E1 on it. Now it's getting an E2. Hopefully, oh, this is not out of cock. That's a spider. This is a uh, Westwood milled spider. It's the uh, one, two, three, four, five scoop Westwood. So this is actually a Diablo slash Diamond Labs Joker. Um, Diamond Labs made it and Diablo distributed it or vice versa. I can't remember, but I think somebody got sued and the market it wasn't in production very long. Either way, I'd search for one in that fade forever because I liked it. I'm still after a purple one. If you have one, hit me up. The fact that this is like a blowback style marker, but it's just anodized and milled so high-end. This is a collectible. You, you will not see this at your field. You will not see this at your store. It took me a long time to find. This is super obscure. You have this beautiful bronze angel cut and carved. Butter knife. Butter knife. So what year is this? I want to say 02. 
03 maybe, but I want to say that's an 02, wasn't it? Could be wrong. With the reverse installed trigger for extra ag points and speed. This is a great milling job on a very obscure marker that nobody really knows what it, this is. So what is this gun, Craig? Uh, I believe Bad Boys Toys Tribal? It's a tribal. Or is it a tribal twister? Well, it's a twister tribal. I'm not sure if Bad Boys Toys made this, Boston made it, whatever. All I know is I rescued it from a kid who didn't know what it was for, you know, 125 or something. So it's a single finger electronic trigger. You can hear the micro switch. That's mid. Rare Techno Scythe, $200. I, mean, I got it for 80 bucks because it doesn't have any eyes and it's missing an eye cover. And I got it with the idea that, yeah, I'm gonna put eyes in it and source another eye cover, but it shoots so good without eyes that I never bothered. All right, the classic, is this a DM3 or is it a die matrix? What's the uh, difference? Gen E matrix. So the difference here is you'll notice both these passages are milled the same. Um, when die bought the rights to matrix uh, from Gen E and got the remaining stock of the Gen E matrix bodies before they released and designed the Gen E uh, DM4, uh, they milled the bodies they released as, you know, what people call them the DM3. I think they were just marketed as the die matrix. But this is a later matrix, as you can see, it's got the LCD display, and then somebody home milled it for eyes. So it's got the... What board you got? You got, you got the Gun 20? No, I don't have a Gun 20 chip or anything in it, but yeah, it's... Jeez, this is so such yeah, a... Yeah, there's a eye carrier in there, and then somebody home milled the, the breech for it. Note the 9 volt sitting below the bolt. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. This thing is a dinosaur, man. We've come, AKA LPR, that's a nice upgrade. Thing is, this thing still, still shoots smoother than most guns. Uh, it's a Piranha Long Barrel. Um, Piranha shared, and it actually says Pursuit Marketing Industries instead of PMI if you look underneath here on the stamp. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's missing some parts. Uh, that was how I got my dad to buy a paintball gun. I found that in a garage sale bin for 20 bucks with some old JT whippersnappers that started it all. This one's special. Um, I believe Bob Guernsey was his name, was the first person to play paintball, and the first person to market paintball guns. So this is a piece of history. I don't think it's functioning. It's Not currently. It was functioning, but it was leaking when I got I got that for Christmas. Um, father got it for me this year, so it was leaking, Not but functioning when I got it. This is number five of 20. Um, got this because my buddy Sean of Phoenix Legacy had number four, and I loved it and I got the money to make a big marker purchase and had to have a pink one. So yeah, Pink Galaxy Ice just broke, I think 60K shots on it, um, shoots perfect. It's been teched by uh, DLX once, um, you know, since I've been using it. For Is that your main whip? About six months. This and the CS1 split time, I can't choose a main one. I love them both. It's a good um, position to be in, man. Yeah. So the Galaxy theme continues. Who did this anno? So this was uh, Tyler Fair of Aesthetic Anodizing. Um, Is he local? No, he's not a local. Um, I think he's out of California. I can't, I can't remember, honestly. Um, but yeah, so this is the first one that he's done for me. Um, got it really, uh, it's a dust galaxy pink and blue and black to kind of contrast the gloss. So this is a monstrosity. Nobody should buy these. All of mine have worked. Everything you're hearing is lies. If the gun doesn't work, it's, what hole is it? There's like a hammer lug valve, it's this one. And you have to adjust it every time you play paintball. You just, just set it right and you'll be fine. Just make sure, it, it's pretty much like, think of the case you have to shoot to tune an autococker correctly, except you have to use that lug as well as the rig and everything. We don't have any pneumatics. To so just there, don't buy an evil omen, please. Save don't pay more than fifty dollars for an. Don't evil pay omen. more than fifty dollars for an evil omen. Yeah. That's... With a ICD barrel. Oh uh, yeah, that's a freestyle barrel. Mm -hmm. See, and, and the thing that I remember about pretty much everything I have is I all found them for really, really cheap prices. I mean, Craigslist prices or I got this, sale prices. No, I mean this had a complete like this had a uh, eclipse asa on it that i sold it had a uh, cp reg that i harvested for another gun Harvest all that 
had, you know, f came with flexes, came with a 6845 Ninja for like 200 bucks. Um, I think I got this one for 30 bucks. This was 55 on eBay, complete gun when I got it. I mean, this was probably a $30 eBay buy. This was two, $300 with an Angel and an Ion. I mean, Whoa, that's I, don't, a steal. I don't pay market for most of my guns unless I really like them or need them. Word, let's keep it rolling. As a paintball enthusiast, a lot of my friends are paintball enthusiasts, and it was really cool to check out all 30, Greg, 30 guns? 30, yeah. Wow, dude. 30 markers in the collection. So you're living the paintball lifestyle. This dude sleeps in the same room as all 30 of these beautiful wow. markers. So I'm gonna do a little quick panaroo around the room, nice and slow. When big kids grow up and get good salaries, they're pretty much just still kids with money. So, you know, I figured what better way to spend it than these and, you know, I can trade them around or sell them off if I need to because I bought most of these for less than what they're worth. 